Long ago, an elderly Japanese woman was washing her clothes in the river when she saw a huge peach floating towards her. She picked it out and carried it to her home for her and her husband to eat. Wow, look at the size of this! Her husband said and began to open it up with a knife. But as he did, a child crawled out and told them, I've been sent to you from heaven to be your son. The couple were shocked. They had never had children and named him Momotaro. Under their care, he grew up to be kind and strong. Some years later, when Momotaro had grown into his teenage years, he left home. He had heard of a group of demons from a far-off island named Onagashima who were causing havoc. He decided to take it upon himself to fight them and put a stop to their pillaging and mayhem. When he first told his parents... I must fight them. They worried. You can't go, Momotaro. It's too dangerous. But I must. But eventually relented to his pleas and packed him some dumplings to take with him to eat. Then take these with you and make sure to come back. Momotaro made some friends that joined him on his adventure. The first he met at the edge of his own village as he had only just begun his journey. You're you're Momotaro, aren't you? Where are you going? (laughs) And what's that delicious smell? Momotaro looked down to see a talking dog. I'm going to fight the demons that reside on Onigashima. If you want to help me on my quest, then I will give you one of these delicious dumplings that are in my bag. The dog could not resist. I'll join you, he said, and ate his dumpling there and then. A little while later, Momotaro and the dog heard another voice. Wow, what is that smell? It said. This time... It was a talking pheasant, and again, Momotaro made the same offer. You can have one of these delicious dumplings if you help us fight the demons. The pheasant accepted, and they continued. The same thing happened one more time, when they passed a talking monkey. If that dumpling tastes as good as it smells, then I'm with you, said the monkey. With the party complete, their next destination would be Onigashima. After some time travelling together, they made it to the island and to the entrance of the demon's fort, which was locked. Hmm. Leave this to me, said the pheasant as it jumped up and flew over the gate. The others heard the gate unlock from the other side, and the gates opened. Thank you, pheasant. They walked through and came to the horde of demons, who were all dancing and (laughs) revelling. Mamatari yelled at them. I've come to put a stop to your pillaging and disruption. And before the demons could react, he and his three friends charged. (coughs) The demons were no match. Thanks to the delicious dumplings, they were full of energy and their strength overpowered their foes, who cowered and retreated. We surrender! We surrender! We surrender! We surrender! We surrender! They were shouting as they fled. The leader of the demons threw his arms in the air and fell to his knees. Momotaro, to his surprise, could see the demon had tears running from his eyes. Please, please, he begged. I surrender. Spare us. Take it all back. All the treasure we've stolen. Take it. They took the leader as their prisoner and left to return to Momotaro's home village. Momotaro and his family lived happily from then on, and were wealthy thanks to the excess riches they had taken back from the demons. 